guys. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I am using a gesso block. I love using these panels. Um, it's wooden, like a cradle board. The sides are a natural wood. Um, so I have them covered because I want to keep it wood sides. So my focus is just the top. So I don't have to stress about the sides this time. Um, when you're doing this and you're wanting to protect your sides, you need to um, put your tape on. And then I always take like my scissors and I like run it along the edge here. Like really good. I burnish it down. <clears throat> so I've already done all of that. So I'm going to try a <clears throat> swipe today. I haven't done one in forever. Feels like something I need to do. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to use all of these colors. I was going to start out by just using four colors. <laughs> but then I started looking at my colors and I kind of kept adding. You know how that happens, right? So... Um, just in case I have Thalo Green by Artist Loft. Now I have different manufacturers of paint and I, some, I, I truly believe that when you mix up your different brands of paint that it really does help getting cool effects and stuff. So I have Artist Loft Thalo Green. I have Artist Loft Thalo Blue. Um, and one more Artist Loft Cobalt Metallic Blue. I'm not sure if I'm going to use this one or not. This is a, a maybe. So we'll set that over there in the maybe pile. Then I have Deco Art 14 Karat Gold. I have Folk Art Purple Flash for a pop of color other than blues. So I have a Folk Art, a Deco Art, Two artist lofts. I have a color art bling it interference blue. This one is color art azurite and Payne's gray mixed, which is gorgeous. It's looking like a really pearly Prussian blue. So I'm excited about that. And then my swipe color is going to be the golden carbon black with blow shawl. All right. So let's get to it. Hopefully I don't get glitter on this piece. I've been glitter maniac. I have the same Actually, I think I'm going to take my sweatshirt off because I've been trying to um, use the same, hang on, I've been trying to use the same sweatshirt and same pants. Actually, they're not pants, they're pajama pants. But when I come down to art, I've been trying to use the same sweatshirt and the same pants just because that way I don't have glitter on everything. So, all right. So take that glittery sweatshirt off. All right. So I'm basically going to, I decided to do it in the landscape, and I'm basically just going to put strips of color. I 
um, I am going to put gloves on because it makes it easier to clean up. And I have some pretty dark primary elements. And they're very, very pigmented. All right. So, do, do, do. All right. So let's just start out. Maybe we'll go dark to light. There's not very many light colors. We'll kind of go that way. Anyway, so I'm going to start out with this. This is, again, from Primary Elements. This is the Azurite and Payne's Gray. And it is mixed with polypore. And it's got a little bit of art fluid in it just to thin it out a bit. get it out right Ooh, that's pretty set that aside these little containers I get from um, Lole Vefe and they have the little lid on them so I don't have a code but you can use Tammy's code I'm sure she won't mind. Um, I believe her code is TAM10, I think. All right, so remember, I don't have to worry about the sides. So I'm just going to take it to the edge. If it goes over the sides, that's fine because the paint or the tape is there. And it can go over the edge just a little bit because it does have a little bit of a lip on here. But I kind of want them to be kind of straight across. This is a gorgeous color. These two colors mixed together. I mean, the colors by itself are fantastic. But when you start playing and mixing your primary element colors, um, you can create some pretty good magic. Like I said, it does have a tiny bit of a lip where the board is. That's why you want to make sure that you um, covered and burnish down your tape real good. All right. So now we'll go with, um, so this is like a shimmery color. So now I'm gonna do a phthalo blue. Oops, did you just see that? She's. So I'm going to make a strip of 
the Salo Blue. These new baby wipes that I got, for some reason, they are super sudsy and it's supposed to be like... Sensitive. So I'm just going to bring it... Actually, I'm just going to run a bead right up against it. I mean, they don't have to be totally perfect because it's going to be a swipe. Okay. That was the phthalo blue. Jeez. Um, what do I do? Um, let's do a small bit of the metallic cobalt blue, just because it's a gorgeous color. This one's pretty thin. It must have been made for a Dutch pour. Okay. Now we'll do a do a salo green. Um, by the time you guys see this, I am probably in Michigan, just trying to get some videos, um, up and uploaded so that while I'm there, I can focus just on family. Okay. I 
feel like I need a lighter blue. Hang on. I'm going to add folk art blue flash. To the mix. Like I already said, I already had too many colors, but we're in it now, so. Let's just do it. And I haven't done a swipe in forever. So this may end up being turned into a airbrush blowout. <laughs> if I don't like it. <laughs> I always got the airbrush to fall back on. Oops, the color's coming off on the stick. That's okay. And this, um, what is it? Blue shift? Blue flash. It's like a color shift. So it goes from like blue to purple, which will tie in that purple flash that I'm about to use. All right. Now we'll work on this purple flash. That's such a pretty color. Come on, come out. Come out, come out. Hang on one second. I'm filming. Jacob just walked in. That's it? You just come down here to say all right? Yeah, leave a like, guys. Leave a like, guys. You can always count on Jake to be my hype man, right? All right, now we're gonna do some interference. Up here, whoa, this is pretty thin too.
pretty thin, pretty thin. It's got a lot of bubbles in it too because I did just mix that one. I ran out in my last pour and totally forgot to fill it up till just now. So like I said, I don't really have to worry too much about the sides, but there is that little bitty lip there. And I'll touch it up later. All right, now for the gold. Um, I think I might run a bead of this interference through here and then through here. I don't know why, because I can't leave shit alone, that's why. So I gotta always kind of add. You have all these colors and you like want to use them all. It's like Pokemon, you gotta catch them all. You just have to realize that tomorrow's another day and you can use all the other colors that you didn't use today. <laughs> so hard. All right, so I'm going to put some gold on the edge here. I'm going to put some running through here and some running through here. Oh, what the hell. Let's put some running through here, too. Let's put a little bit more down here. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, I don't have my canvas up. What the hell was I thinking? Oh. Uh, um, 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 um. Give me one second, guys. Oh boy. All right, I'm just gonna put it up on a box like that. Let me make sure you're still in frame. Okay. All right. All right, so we're gonna use our swipe color, which is the Golden Carbon Black. And I've got some photo paper. That I'm gonna to use to dip it in. So, I'm going to put it to the side here. I don't know if you can see this or not. But I just put some of the black on the paper next to me. And I'm going to dip it in. But first I'm going to get these bubbles out. I finally got used to my new torch. And I really do like it now. My other one was more like a flamethrower. This one's more like a torch. So, I like it. 
All right, so I'm going to use photo paper. I'm going to dip it in the black, and I'm going to swipe up. All right, and if it doesn't work, then we're going to get the airbrush out and blow this puppy out. All right, let's start in the middle. And then wipe it off on the napkin here. And you can use smaller swipe papers, you can use bigger swipe papers, whatever you like. There are no rules. No rules, no rules. And then if it starts to get, if your paper starts to get a little gummy, just take your scissors and cut that piece off and be done with it. You don't want to go super duper fast because you want that black to be able to hit the colors. If you go super fast, it's just not going to have time to do what it's supposed to do. It's going to be like, yo, lady, seriously, how do you expect us to do our job if you're just going to skip right over it? Okay, we're going to retire that swipe paper and get some more black over here. You're putting a pretty liberal amount of black on your paper. See? Whoops, did I just flick black all over? paper towel here. I wonder what it would look like if you did like every other line, like black swipe color, white swipe, swipe color. I don't know, we'll leave that for a future video. Stick to the plan, Lisa.
stick to the plan. I always do that. I have a plan and then I have an idea halfway through. And then I go with the idea and then I'm pissed at myself. Because I didn't give my original idea time to develop <laughs> before swipping it, swipping it, switching it up. I'm so excited to see Remy. I haven't seen him since he was down here, what, in September? He spent like a week with us. Actually, it's two weeks with us. Which, it'd be cool if they let him bring, let me bring him home. But I'm sure they won't because it's the winter time and they will not drive in the snow. And I am not a huge fan of doing it either. I'd be a nervous wreck driving with that baby in the snow. Oops, I just swiped this color off into the black. Alright. Okay. Looks pretty cool. Looks pretty cool. Let me get some bubbles out and we'll see what needs to be done. Sides. Oops, that's not what I wanted to grab. Koja. Actually, that wasn't him. It was a chunk of something. That, however, was him. All right, so if you bend down, you can kind of see, oops, I just messed up my flow. So if you're trying to get something out of your painting, kind of go in the, in the flow. What is going on? Look at that big chunk. I don't know what that was. I don't understand. I didn't see no chunks coming out. All right. So I'm really digging it. But I think I'm liking it more like the way you guys are looking at it. Rather than going up. So... I don't know if I should do anything else to it or if I should just leave it alone. Who am I kidding? Who am I kidding? Do I ever just leave it alone? No. No, I don't. I'm gonna put a new pair of or a new bit of black here. Just 
going to do a couple smaller swipes here just because there's some areas that need a little bit of extra love. This one, I don't like that harsh line. Just want to bust that up a little bit. Well, guys, you know, I think I'm going to leave it alone. Oops. I'm going to bring it, stretch it down a little bit. Kind of like the way it's looking when I'm stretching it. Now it's got a harsher line. So I got to commit. <laughs> Plus, I had a lot of paint on here. Okay. All right, I'm digging that. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. I love it. I don't say that very often, but I really do. And I would add maybe some gold lines in it, but I'm going to wait and I'm going to see if it dries good. If it dries good and I still think it needs some gold lines, then I'll add them. Or maybe when I resin it, I'll put some gold leaf lines through the resin. No, Lisa, just leave it the hell alone. Come on, guys, you're not helping me. You're supposed to be saying, no, Lisa, leave it the hell alone. Which I bet you probably are. All right, I'm going to give it one more torch just to make sure the bubbles are out. And then I'm going to bring you in on a close-up. All right, hang on. I'll get you out of this cage here. Hang on. Okay, here we are. See that Payne's Gray and that Azurite mixed? Look at that. That's gorgeous. All right, so we'll just go up.
I love the phthalo green and the gold. And it kind of just whiffs off into like this. I don't know that. That's the interference white. Or I'm sorry, interference blue. You know what? Let me turn down some of these lights here. And then you'll be able to see it better. Okay, there you go. Goes up. And then look at that. What a cool effect. Look at that. It's like got all of the colors that I put on it surrounding these big billowy I don't know that's super strange but super cool that azure and the phthalo green together it just kicking it Kind of looks like a tree knot right there. See right there? You guys, I'm loving it. This was a fun swipe. See how it's just wrapped in that gold? Gorgeous. And that gold and the flash, the purple flash. It kind of looks like one of those idea bubbles that pop into your head right there. Boom. Lisa's got an idea. <laughs> you guys. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. How gorgeous. So. That is it for now, guys. Um. I hope you guys have a great holiday. I hope you enjoyed this, what was supposed to be a quick pour, turned 40 minutes long. Um, but yeah, I hope you have a great holiday. Please comment, let me know what you think about this. I will show it in an upcoming video after, um, after the holidays. Uh, after I remove the tape on the edges and because remember this is all going to be wood and I'm going to resin the whole thing so um, I'll be grabbing some pop sockets and pulling some skins from this runoff that's gorgeous and uh, yeah Thanks for joining me, guys. Uh, if you're looking for a group to join, a fluid art group, uh, resin and mixed media and all of the art things, I have a Facebook group, United We Pour Fluid Art Group. I run that with Tammy Anderson Art. This is fantastic. So come join us over there and share your art over there. And I will see you guys on the next video. Goodbye.